virtual child. PCs are second nature to those of your generation. You grow up before the computer screen, like those before you viewed the TV screen. Virtual child, your escape is your play. You learn through games. What you lack in social skills, you gain in technical ways. Virtual child, who would conceive you in the 21st century? More complex than any computer, your brain is a challenge that can't be matched by any program. Virtual child, you can create dreams beyond any reality. Um, the next poem is just the opposite of this one. It's about people who are getting older, <laughs> like we all are in SL. It's called Virtual Age, and I think we can all relate to this. Growing old, even in a virtual world, it happens. Things change quickly in the click of a mouse. Still, avatars age gracefully. No one dies but a typist. How many friends disappear forever without even a goodbye? The years teleport by. You turn around and you're gray. The kids look younger. Was it that long ago you had all that energy to play? Now you get tired typing and fall asleep on the keys. But avatars fly, dance in endless loops. Ah, 3D youth. This is a little longer, and it happens to be one of my favorites. It's also one that I think many people can identify with if they have a special friend in Second Life. It's called Virtual Friend. We met in a virtual world, a place created from fantasy, yet the friendship we formed was based on truth and reality. I can't fully grasp all that you've come to mean to me. I can tell you things that I can share with no other. I have no fear that you will hurt me, and you know your confidences are safe with me. You see me clearer than those who see me every day, even though you've never laid eyes on me. You touch me deeper than those who are always by my side, even though you've never laid a hand on me. Your support strengthens and encourages me. I am glad to share your sorrow. You can heal my pain just by listening. And when we laugh together, it's at the same jokes, the ones written in the same books, but we read them from miles apart, worlds apart, and yet they are so close, as close as we are, virtually. Where does one find a friend? Not just an acquaintance, but someone true, someone honest like you. Age doesn't matter, sex doesn't matter, and distance matters even less, I guess. We never would have met years ago, before technology gave us away. Today, there are so many ways to stay in touch online. You're always there for me, and I am thankful I found you along the path. It's a lonely walk otherwise, and when we walk it together, it's the same path the one we follow that leads the same way. But we walk it together from miles apart, worlds apart, and yet we are so close, virtually. Virtual partners. I believe there's a display out um, near here uh, with, the, with the poem on it. Two avatars play, 3D people in a computer game. A world not far removed from reality. A second life that offers anonymity. They reveal what they can, calling each other by preferred pretend names, neither knowing the other's real life history or real life pain. Both start out a little shy, online strangers who fly. They chat and then dance, form a friendship, then flirt with romance. Their moments are fleeting, time zones clock by. They make the most of meetings until they find the escape creates a pain of another kind. They miss one another when they are offline, but tomorrows are as short 
as virtual sunsets in the north, and todays are gone before the final teleport. Second Life Romeo. He fancies himself a Second Life Romeo, hanging out at all the dance clubs on the grid. He likes to sweet talk lady avatars with smooth moves and animations. He fancies himself one hot 3D dude, stringing gals along by flattering IMs and chat. He doesn't seek a partner, will never walk down the SL aisle, no surprise about that. He wears designer clothes and the coolest tattoos, works out at a virtual gym, sports a sexy tanned mustachioed skin. He has a calendar that's always full of dates, knows the most exotic slurls to places for romancing and dancing. He's an SL Romeo, all the girls agree, and most will take him up on his advances to a degree. He flirts for fun and virtual attention. No one is hurt, it's only pixels. If he breaks a virtual heart, it's not his intention. His real life is cloaked in anonymity. If he has a wife, she doesn't know or doesn't care. Virtual flings are the easiest things for an SL Romeo. SL Cinderella. She's looking for an SL man at all the virtual clubs and bars, checking out the profiles of all the handsome guys. She's looking for a prince among the virtual frogs, tangoing on the dance pole, seeking someone to satisfy her. That's her goal. She's trying to find a partner who really means all those hugs and kisses, flirting shamelessly, shaking those long tresses. She's out to catch an avatar, so be careful if you get an IM from her. She has the sexiest words to say, but they haven't yet gotten her too far. She'd trade an SL wedding for all her one-night stands. When she complains about RL and SL men, all her friends understand. She's looking for an SL man, one with no attachments, but who has an attachment. She's hunting high and low, for all male avatars in radar sight, looking for Mr. S.L. Wright. She doesn't require gifts, but will take them if given. She loves to dance and try out the latest animations, including the excite ones which catch her fascination. She's a lady avatar on a mission, aware of time zone differences. So every night she joins the party, either at noon or midnight SLT. She's hoping someone will find her glass stiletto that she lost while changing clothes from her inventory. A prince, a vampire, a goth, or just one special fella to live happily ever, every second after with SL's Cinderella. This one is called Online. Are you online? I check my dashboard, Gtalk and Facebook, but I don't see you. I wonder if you're busy, sick, or out. I debate on whether to send an IM or email. I don't want to appear desperate or lonely. I just like your online company. Our chats cheer me up. They're brief but full of meaning. I like to tell you my day and my plans. I like to hear about yours, if you understand. I'm not chasing you like an online stalker. I just like to talk. And there's so much to say online. In love with an avatar. Am I a fool? How can I feel so much for someone not real? But in the virtual world, real is hard to define. And feelings can be just as blind. Am I crazy to want to be close to a computer image? But even in real life, an attraction is hard to explain, and desires are not easy to contain. Is it that I'm lonely, or that you just spark some chemistry? Does it matter if others think it's weird? How you feel is about all I care. Am I wrong to take our dances seriously? Why does your virtual smile mean so much to me? Do you feel the same? or think of this merely 
as a game. Can pixels seduce? Do you think I'm pretty? Please tell me the truth, even if it makes me feel like an idiot. I can only hope that you care about me the way I do you. If not, I will manage to cope. What else can I do? For now, I'll enjoy our online encounters and wish upon a virtual star. It's hard to believe, but true, I'm in love with an avatar. So this one <clears throat> is also one that I think um, people can identify with. Some people might identify with. Um, it's called We'll Never Be Partners. We'll never be partners, but I know that you care. When RL and SL mix, sometimes it's not fair. I value your friendship. I'm not asking for more. I like someone to dance with and join me when I explore. Some people keep their two lives apart. For others, that's not right. When it comes to feelings of the virtual heart, real emotions need to be kept in sight. We'll never be partners, despite what we've shared, all the good and bad we've been through all these SL years. We'll never be partners, except in my mind. When RL and SL mix, the blend is not always kind. Some people prefer to live SL like a fantasy. Others ground their second lives in reality. When it comes to virtual romance, not everyone is willing to take the chance. We'll never be partners, although I love you a lot. When it comes to RL and SL friends, you're one of the best that I've got. We'll never be partners, but that's no reason to fail bad. I can count on you, and that makes me glad. We're not passing ships in the SL night, or lonely role players looking for a fling. We're always honest with each other, and that's no small thing. We'll never be partners, but that's not where our online story ends. We'll always be second, as well as real-life friends. SL Neighbors There's nothing like a good SL neighbor to help you in a jam, re-res your house when you accidentally take it down, gives you good advice and doesn't repeat it twice, helps you in any way he can. There's nothing like a good SL neighbor, one who doesn't block your land with eyesores or dinosaurs, or holds any sim-crashing parties without inviting you. That's what virtual neighbors are for. There's nothing like a good SL neighbor, someone who respects your privacy, but opens his doors to you when you need, feeds your virtual pets when you're offline, and sends you note cards that you might like to read. There's nothing like a good SL neighbor who always remembers your res day, gives you plants for your garden or boats for your lake, lets you borrow lindens when you're broke, and never asks you to reciprocate. There's nothing like a good SL neighbor, it's so virtually true, that I'm so lucky to have such a good SL neighbor as you. Lonely in SL. Just like RL, you can be lonely in SL. Just like RL, people can hide behind a mask. Call it an avatar, call it a face. They can hurt you if you get too close. Just like RL, people can lie. Just like RL, it's hard to know why. Call it a life, call it unfair. They can hurt you and not even care. Just like RL, you can be lonely in SL. Just like RL, people play games. Call it virtual or call it real. It's very much the same. But just like RL, people can be kind. Just like in RL, there are friends you can find. Call it connecting. Call it reaching out. Relationships are what SL's about. Just like RL, you can choose who you trust. Just like RL, this is a must. Call it being cautious. Call it what you like. Just like an RL, you don't need to be lonely in Second Life.